Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to share with you my amazing book that I got in the mail a few days ago. Well, actually about a week ago, but I'm just now getting to sharing it with you. It's my first Kirby Rosanna's book. I'm so excited. Fragile World, Color, Nature's Wonders. So we will be exploring this beautiful book together. I know that there are so many flip throughs already on YouTube, but I decided to take you guys on one of my adventurous trips through this coloring book. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. I'm so excited. The reason I don't have any other Kirby Rosanna's books because I wasn't a huge fan of the doodles that he normally has in his books. I just was like, that is just absolutely too much for me to be trying to color. I am already a slow colorist. So a hundred thousand doodles just that was just not going to work for me. So when he came out with a book like this, where it was just his normal style, but yet not as many doodles and a lot of things in there that just didn't make sense, like a, a person on a surfboard going through fire <laughs> or a little uh, ice cream cone in the midst of a, a alligator's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, no, I don't, I don't think I can do that. I mean, they were beautiful books. Don't get me wrong, but it was just too much detail for me. And like I said, I am already a slow colorist. So all that detail would have just, it would have scared me into not coloring it. And I would have just had it sitting in my collection. And you guys know that I'm all about, you know, coloring my books, using my supplies, especially this year with Crasher Stash 2021. Nisi is trying to do the most with what she already has. And we're going to talk about that in another video. But guys, before I move on, we got to talk about these monkeys here, okay? Or chimpanzees, whatever they are. Can you just not... These smiling faces, they are the happiest monkeys I've ever seen and then the expressions on their face is like just priceless and in this one right here he got his little apple or his food or whatever that is that he's eating his tangerine his mango and he's just like this is the best thing I've ever eaten in my whole life I I have to actually use three hands to, to <laughs> to to deal with it okay there better be a monkey behind him because y'all oh that's his foot oh <laughs> guys i thought kirby was doing some uh metamorphosis type of stuff in his book <laughs> i thought that was his head i didn't see the other foot guys okay moving on yes nisi needs some coffee right now okay okay so we talked about him with his with his mango or his pear or whatever he is and he about to get one too Cause he's like, oh yeah, this this pear peach, whatever this fruit is, it's 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 going to be amazing. And this one right here, he's chilling so hard, he don't even need a fruit. Okay, he probably not already ate all the fruit because look at his belly. His belly is sticking out like he's been eating all day long. Okay, and this one right here, oh he looks sneaky. He looks like he's hiding some behind his back, and it, it's just not right. He he looks like it's. He's up to no good, I'm just saying. So Kirby, thank you, thank you, thank you for those expressions because that's just, I love it, I love it. And this page, I love how Kirby does like the abstract things on top of the animals. This is an amazing book. I am, look at this, a, a fly, bee, moth, whatever this is has a, an, an array of, gas to be a bee, because those are bees pollinating the flowers. Okay, so bee. I don't think moths have anything to do with flowers. I don't know. They they like to eat up people's clothing, so I don't know. Um, But 
this is a this is amazing and look how this butterfly here has all the flowers coming out of her back and it's just like guys and let me tell you how you can get your copy before the release date i ordered mine from the book depository and i wish i would have told you guys sooner i wish i would have done a flip through and review or a walk with me video before now because it's only a few more days maybe like 10 or 15 not 15 because it comes out on the 16th of march so today you may have like 10 10 11 12 more days before it actually comes out in the united states and gets delivered in amazon but i'll tell you the story how i ended up going with the uk copy so before I tell you that story, we got to talk about these lemur cats. I think these are lemurs. I don't know. I could probably look in the back of the book, but I'm being lazy. I just want to talk about it. The expressions, guys, they are actually posing for this picture. And this one is like, I'm too sexy to smile. You know how you have that, that sexy smirk? Like, you too cool to smile, but you don't want to, you know, come off on camera as being like, super tough so he got that look on his face like yeah take my picture because i'm the most beautiful lemur cat in this picture or me meerkat or whatever these are they just too cute the rest of them he looks a little goofy he looks like he don't be knowing what's going on ever <laughs> they they probably get over on him and steal his food all the time but the rest of them well at least these two yeah these two are smiling pretty hard they looking pretty happy. And these two look like they bad. Like they, they be getting into stuff too much. But yes, that's what's going on with them. <laughs> so I actually pre-ordered this book um, on Amazon maybe a month ago. And I saw the date. And at that time, it was like pre-order. And it was like $16 to pre-order. It was like the same price as the um, Johanna Basford new book that's coming out got that one on pre-order too i absolutely love this page guys oh my goodness monkeys are on top of the elephant and some rocks and oh whew, i love this and you know how i feel about owls guys you know how i feel about them so we got to talk about this look i keep getting off the subject <sighs> let me just tell you just get get this on over with so we can talk about these pages i i, I actually pre-ordered it and had it in my cart ready to go and then something told me, go check Book Depository. I don't know why, but I went over to Book Depository and it was like $13. We'll ship it to you in seven days. No shipping fee, free shipping, and you'll have a copy before the release date. You know I'm impatient. So that was all up my alley. So I went and canceled that Amazon order. And I ordered this one and it came... In a good amount of time. It took about eight or nine days, but I was happy. And now Amazon has reduced the price on these. They've made them cheaper. So they're like $13. I guess they're trying to compete with Book Depository because so many people was like leaving them, like canceling their orders and going over to Book Depository. But okay, these owls. This one, he's a meanie. He's a mean one. He, he look, look, look at the frown on his face. He looking like, don't talk to me don't look at me just no and then this one oh she has an attitude okay look look at the look at the eyes look at that mouth and the smirk well beak not mouth but you know what i mean she looking like what you want to take my picture oh no 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 you have to pay to see the presence of the queen no, uh-uh, we're not doing that. And this one here, I don't know if this is the baby or the younger brother or what, but he's looking like one of them that already made him mad and then took his mouse that he was supposed to be eating or something has happened to make him look upset. He just look, he look irritated, okay? So I don't know what's going on with that family dynamic, but they, they not happy, okay? They not a happy family. <laughs> they probably usually are happy, but today... They not happy. Kirby caught them at a moment when they was having family problems or something. Okay, okay. Mr. Alligator has a turtle hat on. That's what I'm talking about. Just be fashionable. If you can't have real hats in the nature world, get you a turtle and say, hey, if you don't stand on top of my head, I will eat you. So you and your family, you know, stay on top of my head and 
he looking at them baby turtles though like like he like he trying to you know do something but this is guys i'm gonna have so much fun coloring this book and this is my favorite the one that's on the back and i really want to color it like this like abstract abnormal rainbow something that's pretty too look at that jaguar in the tree i really just want to i need a second copy of this because i already know that i'm going to just want to experiment and play with this and do the most with this oh my goodness guys he got a smile on his face he's so happy and he got a smile on his face too he happy too now these two they just trying to do whatever it is they they got their mind on eating getting home whatever it is but they not enjoying the ride and he just looks so serene holding the whole jungle in his hand the orangutan cute family cute panda family finally we get to a happy family because them owls they was upset Oh my goodness, guys. This is so beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at the little deep sea divers swimming with the whales. This is beautiful. This will be a great picture to practice on uh, coloring snow and using like your stickles and all that good stuff. I know I'm going to use my tritones a whole lot in this book because there's so much space and so many trees and wood and different things and you know the way i like to color i like to you know find the easiest way to accomplish a picture and get the result as fast because i don't know when my pain levels are going to elevate and i don't know when i'm going to be able to color again like i could be fine recording a video right now but in the next hour after my medicine has you know, dissipated. I'll be in so much pain, I couldn't even turn a page. So I have to find methods that work for me, the, the most effective, the most fast to hurry up so that I can try to complete the picture and make it look like I want it to look. So that's what, what I mean by I'm a fast colorist, meaning that I don't necessarily color fast because I'm super slow. It takes me longer than a few days to finish a whole picture. Sometimes it's taking me up to two weeks or a month to finish a picture, but I'm not going to sit there and use three or four pencils when I can use one pencil like the tritone and get the result that I want on like the grass or something or use the woodless pencil, you know, trick that I showed you in this video right here. So I just try to find the methods that can help me to get the results I want quick. So let's talk about these. Let's let's find out what these are, guys. I don't want to keep talking about stuff that is not what it is. Okay, the pages aren't num. Oh, yes, they are. They are numbered. There's a teeny tiny little number right here, 64 and 65. Go ahead on, Kirby. Kirby has done the most, guys. Okay, so these are greater sage grouse, grouse, near threatened. They're near threatened. So these are sage grouse. Let's read about them. They're in North America, western parts of North America and Canada. Their presence indicate a healthy sagebrush habitat. Okay, okay, okay. Oil and gas development has disrupted the landscape. Okay, okay, okay. They're upset. You can tell that they're in danger because they're fighting each other. So don't, don't, don't do sage on sage crime. Don't kill each other. You know, just, you already in danger. So why are you going to have a fight like that? It must be over a woman. You know that's what it is. It's over a female sage. All right, look at the little sea otter and the crabs. Are these two different pictures? Yeah, they are. So everything in here is not a double sp double page spread. Like, you know that branch is going somewhere. So these are two separate pictures. Okay, those are probably dung beetles or something. I think that's the most gross animal in the world to just love you know what and just play all in and eat it. But hey, how else are you going to have... 
um, polymer. <laughs> How else are we going to have our, 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 um, our coloring hobby without wax and all the other different stuff they make from dung beetles? Yes, that's what happens, guys. I'm sorry to tell you. We're coloring with poop, probably. <laughs> but it's been sanitized and cooked and cleaned. <laughs> I know you like Nisi, really. That's what we're going to talk about while flipping through Kirby Rosanna's book. Okay. Well, guys, you know, that's just how it happens sometimes. Oh, boy. This is just... And I love how his line art is kind of like not really grayscale, but it, it tells you or it directs you where you would need to be putting your darker colors and your shadows. There, That's a happy couple. Look how they're looking at each other. Ooh, they got them, them bedroom eyes. <laughs> oh my goodness, that, that's PG-13. We, we PG-13, no, we supposed to be G up in here, okay? But I'm just saying, you know, you know, we 18 or older over here. All right, so it's all about the animals. So we have all of the animals listed have some little pictures at the bottom that we can color if we so desire and that's it guys oh my goodness i'm so excited to get started in this book and wait a minute now in the uk this book is 9.99 oh my goodness now see why we can't have like that you know here over here in the u.s but guys if you would like to go ahead and get your copy Get it, guys. Get it from Book Depository if you don't want to wait another 10, 11, 12 days. I wish I would have came to you earlier so that you could go ahead and order it and have it here. But, hey, I I may order the U.S. copy. I think I will. I think I'm going to go ahead and pre-order it so that I can see the differences between the paper and, you know, different things like that. Because I, I know I would like a second copy. So, I'm going to go ahead and pre-order that. Plus... Go ahead and get this out the way. Get Order what I, what I need to order because I'm telling you guys, I have one last like massive haul video that's coming up for you. But after that, it's going to be teeny tiny for Nisi because I have everything that I could possibly need in my collection. So I'm going to try my best to stop purchasing things stop buying and start trying okay start trying out my products and all my stuff that i have in my collection stop collecting and start using i said that in another video and i mean it guys i mean it i mean it please don't let another budget pencil come out that i really really want to try or another book or something so i have johanna on pre-order so <sighs> Why am I lying to myself? Why is just lies, 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 lies? Because I know I'm going to be tempted. I'm so weak. I'm, you know I'm weak. We both know this. So, <laughs> but I'm trying. I'm going to try. I'm trying, guys. Okay, so please check out the playlist that I link here so that you can see other interactive flip throughs that we can journey along together. Comment below if you already have your copy of The Fragile Worlds by Kirby Rosanes or if you have yours on pre-order. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoy adult coloring. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy content like this. And don't forget to ring that bell, guys, so that you will not miss the next episode. All right, guys. So you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day and happy coloring. Bye.